everyone, it's Sammy from Scrap Masters Paradise and today I'm going to show you my new scrapbook room. We did end up buying a house recently. It is not the house you've been seeing in my Project Life layouts. That one has been demolished. We're still dealing with that legally, but we went ahead and decided to buy a house because we knew we weren't getting that house. So I'm going to show you guys my scrapbook room. So far I have just used exactly what we already had and made do with that. With the exception of one thing, I bought a tiny little shelf, which I'll show you guys um, when I do my tour, but I plan on purchasing some things from Ikea and other things as I go, but this is just how it looks with everything out of boxes and semi-organized. So this is kind of my starting point scrapbook room. It's not perfect. I still need to do a couple of things um, to get it all set up, but I want to show you guys the whole room and just walk you through everything so far. Here is where you walk in. I'm going to give you a quick little overview. I've got the same shelf and desk I had in the rental house, and then I ended up putting in one of these cubes. This is actually from Target. I don't know what their closet system is, but it's um, one of the cube systems that Target has. I ended up having two of these that were in Olivia's um, closet in her nursery and then a larger one and they're all just kind of dispersed through the house now I'm going to shut this door because Olivia's having quiet time and I'm sure she can hear me especially with the door open so I still need to um, vacuum sweep mop the floors this is just like everything's out of the boxes and I was excited so I wanted to show you guys everything so this room just has the one window and so I have my um, station right there for filming and scrapbooking and this room's actually a Jack and Jill which is really nice I have a sink so I can, you know, clean stamps or if I'm doing anything messy, I can wash my hands or clean supplies. I also have a plug-in right there that's up high. I just keep my camera charger and batteries right there. And then this goes into the shower bathroom combo, which I'm not going to show. This is um, a walk-in closet for this bedroom. And so I just have lots of supplies in here, some stuff for Olivia, some things that still need homes. It's just everything is out of the, you know, the big cardboard boxes. So I ended up um, having these shelves from Olivia's nursery and I don't have a place for these yet. So they're kind of living in the closet. I've got, um, I've got crocheting supplies. I've got some shipping and mailing supplies, extra cube containers, um, sewing machine and sewing stuff up there, mini albums, extra cardstock, uh, spiral notebooks and stuff. There's tool. So that closet still needs to be organized and like I said I'm gonna get some more things for this room so um, for this six cube shelf that I got at Target I have my Big Shot and my Epson Picture Mate PM400 on top of here I love this thing and I have done a review on the printer if you're interested I've got some um, labels and um, sticker paper in here my Big Shot supplies go in here I've got my Copics here for now I don't really have a good place for those yet and then I keep um, my six by six paper pads in here. I don't have all that many of those. I really did a huge purge before we moved into the rental house. And I really haven't bought a whole lot since then. Uh, a lot of this was felt like Christmas because most of this has been in a box for a year. Uh, I also have one extra printer cartridge. I like to have one extra just in case I run out. And this is all planner and spiral notebook stuff. These cubes are all from the Dollar Tree. Any of these weave baskets are from Target. I really love the weave baskets. And like I said, I just use baskets that we already had in the house. And so here I keep extra pouches and things I plan on giving away. So that's just gonna be a little giveaway pile. And then I've got my scale in this one for now. And then that one is empty. The desk contents are the exact same as I've showed in um, other videos. So I'll link to my last scrapbook room tour for you guys so you guys can see the stuff in the desk and that way this video won't be super duper long. I've got my Inkwell Press calendar and my daily calendar for next year here. I plan on I'm probably using this before the end of the year. These are undated so I can really start using it whenever. I just think it's really beautiful with the Hopefully you guys can see that, the wood grain. And I've walked through the Inkwell Press 2018 planners on my other channel. I will also link to that. And then I've got my Organize More ink pad storage here. I do have another one of these, but I don't have enough ink pads to fill it, so I don't have it out yet. And what's cool about these is they do have um, hooks on the back, so you can wall mount these. And then I've got my setup here. I'll show you guys. This shelf is actually like half of an inch crooked. This side's lower than that side. I'm sure you guys can see that on camera, but this I got at World Market. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's one of those mix and match shelves. So I got the natural walnut stained 
piece for the actual shelf part and then the really pretty bronze bracket. So I love the way it looked. And I, the reason I got a shelf in the first place was just to mount this. I do need to get some sort of clamp that's not <laughs> something from my husband's workbench. This is an Irwin Quick Grip. And then this is actually um, a tripod that I cut. So I wanted it to have the same quick release mount as uh, my regular tripod. I have two of these same ones from Amazon Basics. I've loved them. I've had them for years now and they're super cheap. So all I did was I cranked up this piece the whole way up and then used a saw and cut this part off and threw away the rest of the tripod. So now I have my mount nice and clean up at the top. And so I have the actual um, quick release part on my camera at all times. So I can just put my camera here or put my camera on the tripod and in and out really easily. The desk supplies are the same as I've shown in other videos. I got all these containers um, at Target. I picked up this mat on Amazon a long time ago. I will link to that too if I can find it. My lights are Ikea lights and I really like them because I can move them around and uh, adjust them when I'm filming at nighttime. That way I can have some good lighting. I picked that container up at Michael's. It's actually two containers stuck together, you can see. They kind of um, they kind of lock together. So the desk is set up really nicely so I get the nice light coming in from the window and I can scrapbook here during the daytime. I do plan on changing this up quite a bit. I do want a corner desk at the window and extend the whole desk down the whole wall so I have room for my Cameo. I still have to find the Cameo cords they're in with um, the office supplies and electronic stuff. So I still have to get a place for that to be set up. I would like to have it out all the time um, like my Big Shot, I have it out all the time now. I want plenty of space for it working. I would also like enough space to have my sewing machine out so I can just quickly use my sewing machine whenever I want. But for now, it's stored up there and the Cameo is stored down there. So for shelvy stuff, uh, my husband made these out of Starburst wrappers and I've kept them for years and years. I just really like them. And this little stuffed animal was my childhood dog's favorite stuffed animal. So I just keep it up there because it reminds me of her. I've got pictures of my husband and I up here. I've got these bowls that I got at Target a long time ago in the dollar section and I've had these for a long time. I don't have anything in them right now. And back here I've got two mason jars. I've got my ink applicator stuff in there and then my ink daubers back there. So they really don't have quite they don't really have a home yet, so these are all just kind of odds and ends up here. I've got this other container I picked up at Target um, this summer. I really like this for longer embellishment packs. I just have them, I think, stuffed in the desk for right now. I've got to organize a little bit better. Of course, this is just my starting point, so I tried to get everything somewhere so that it wasn't just in boxes. And so this still needs a place. When I get some more desktop areas, I will be able to have this out. It's just a little chalkboard, whiteboard combo. It used to go in our kitchen, um, but I got a meal planner now, so that goes in the kitchen instead. Then I've got 12 by 12 papers and pattern papers. I put all of my ribbon and twine in here. It's just kind of a jumbled mess right now. I've got stamps in here, stamp overflow in this container with my traveler's notebook inserts. And then I also have my envelope punch stuffed in that container. And like I said, these containers are from Target. I've got more planner stuff and traveler's notebooks up here. And then these are um, ring bound planners from Michaels, these two. Then I've got eight and a half by 11 cardstock. These are just those paper magazine files and I uh, mod podged some pattern paper on the front and I've had these for years and years. Just a really easy, quick DIY. Then I've got my Martha Stewart scoreboard on the side there. I've got the little flamingo pen that my husband got me for our first Valentine's Day, gosh, like 12, 11 or 12 years ago. And then my Copic airbrush machine is right here. It's just an air compressor that works with my Copics. And then I've got two um, albums here. I've got alphas in one and then page protectors in the other. I also have extra page protectors and empty albums down in this corner here. And then moving on to all of the albums. Now all of these albums are not filled up. Some of them are half full and like our wedding album has like two or three layouts in it. Um, the ones that are uh, mostly done are the ones from the last couple of years. So 2014 I did quite a bit. Um, this is 2015 here which still needs to be worked on a little bit more. 
2016 in those two, and then 2017 is in these, and hopefully I don't go past this part three, third album. Um, and then those ones are for later on. So I still have to work on Olivia's first year and getting that stuff a little bit better organized. And then I can go back and fill in some of the other years. They're not all the way full. These albums go all the way back to Johnny and Me, um, as children and onwards. I guess I really started scrapbooking um, around 2006, 2007. So every year from there, I have one to two albums and I really need to condense it down because once Olivia was born, the years needed a lot more albums. So I've definitely got to condense down a little bit better so I don't end up with three <laughs> albums a year. And so far, you know, I'm going really good with three albums this year. And next year, I hope to get two or one album. So hopefully I will get Hopefully I will get there because I'm running out of space here. I'll have to get another cube shelf for somewhere else. So as you can see, this is a very large room and it gives me a lot of room to grow so I can get more furniture pieces and have a bigger desktop space. And it's so big compared to our rental house where I was sharing a room with Olivia. And so now I have my own space again and I'm really enjoying having a lot of space. So there's a whole wall over here that's completely empty. I don't know that I'm gonna put any furniture pieces over there, but I do plan on setting up like a filming area possibly. What I may do is get another cube shelf and have it as my background and keep it less cluttered. So it'll be a nice, pretty background for me when I'm filming videos, um, you know, where I'm showing myself. So I thought about that. I also thought about maybe um, you know, just putting a chair here and making this my background. I'm still kind of deciding if I'm gonna do like a backdrop on this wall. I thought the room is big enough that I can have a, a area where I can film and just sit down and talk. So that concludes my scrapbook room tour. I have some changes I wanna make, but for right now, it is working really nicely. So I can get back into scrapbooking now that we've moved and started to unpack and settle in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.